Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Scott, this is Motivated by Mountains, and today I want to talk to you about a couple of ideas for Christmas and the holidays. Alright, so before I dive into that, I have got to get this hat off because it is super, super hot. Although I think I might uh, consider taking it on my next trip when it's cold. All right, so let's dive into it. Got a long list of ideas of things for your backpacking friends or maybe even something you might want to buy for yourself for the holidays. So the thing about backpacking is that all of our gear is super subjective, right? It needs to be specific to the individual, whether it's the size or the weight or the temperature rating or all those little details that come into play when you're looking for backpacking gear. And without actually going and talking to someone about their gear, it's very, very difficult to find that perfect piece of gear that's gonna be exactly what they want. So all I'm trying to say is that because these things are so specific, before you run out and buy something for that hiker or backpacking friend, maybe approach them and say, hey, is there anything that you might be interested in or something that you want for Christmas, you know? Maybe give me some details and tell me what size you want or what temperature rating you want, just so that you don't buy the wrong thing and then you end up having to go through returning it or they don't use it or whatever. So just something to keep in mind with these gift ideas. There's also a couple of alternative things that you could do for folks that are really cool. Uh, you could get them a gift card to a place like REI or some other outdoor gear spot so that they can have that money and they can go pick out something that they want specifically. Another really cool thing you can do is donate money to a trail association for somebody, like put it in their name. Uh, I know I spend a lot of time on the Appalachian Trail and if somebody were to donate money to that trail association in my name, I would think that was super cool. Moving past those other alternative ideas, if you're just dead set on buying somebody a piece of gear, I have uh, quite a long list of gear that I use, that I recommend, all in the description below if you want to check out those, those items. Um, those are all great ideas for people. If you have any questions about those items, you can just drop them in the comments or you can send me an email and I'll be happy to try and help you navigate that and figure out exactly what you should go after. And on top of that, I also do want to recommend two companies and their gear for this holiday season. Um, it's gear that I've been using for this past year and I absolutely love both companies. Absolutely love their gear. You've probably seen me running my mouth about them before in other videos, but I'm gonna jump into that. The first company that I want to recommend is Appalachian Gear Company. They make 100% alpaca hoodies, t-shirts, um, hats, beanies, this is one of their beanies, this is one of their hoodies. Fantastic piece of gear, great company, super environmentally friendly, super warm for the weight. I mean, just, I love this thing. And my buddies at Light AF Gear, uh, they make everything from fanny packs like this guy. They make food bags like this guy, bear bags, and they make, in my opinion, the best, the most comfortable backpack that's out there. Um, this is my pack. It was made by Chris and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, super water resistant, super, super comfortable. And the quality of the build is amazing. So definitely check out Light AF and Appalachian Gear Company. Links to that stuff is also in the description. If you like this video and you like the information in it, it helped you out, maybe hit the like button down below. I would be super stoked if you would subscribe to the channel. I've got uh, some great stuff coming out over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm gonna have another trip video coming out from the Allegheny Front Trail. That was super fun. Great group of guys. I'm also gonna have some other like uh, backpacking uh, tips and tricks and I'm gonna have a full review on this shelter which is the Z-Pax duplex it is my favorite shelter that I've used over the years and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm also gonna tell you a few things that you need to tweak so I'll see you on the next one
That's pretty cool, right? Oh yeah.